Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> Guess who um, uh, is bad with time. <laughs> so stream is supposed to start in eight minutes from now. And uh, I, <laughs> I was looking at the clock and I was like, all right, stream starts in one minute. Cause it was like, uh, it, was, it was like, I, right above, right, right at the time, I was like, "All right, stream's about to start," and I hit start streaming, and then I realized, "Oh no, wait, I'm I'm ten minutes ahead." Uh oh. <laughs> so, um, here we are, uh, the early gang, <laughs> ten minutes ahead of the crowd. So, uh, I, I figured I'd just chit-chat for a little bit here. <laughs> well, we wait for everyone to wander on in at the actual time that I said I'd be streaming. <laughs> how, how was everyone's day? Did everyone have a good one? Ugh. I've got something in my eye. <laughs> I usually try to hit start streaming ten minutes before you actually start. That's so long. That's what we, Alice and I were chit-chatting about, um, like, starting soon screens. Because she walked into my room and I told her all of that. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I was like, yeah, but really long starting screens? I don't know. I'm not into them. Like, just, a, just personally. Like, if it's a VOD, I always skip over them. And if I'm like, oh, cool, they, the, they're going to be streaming. Um, and then I come in at the time the person says they're streaming, and then I have to wait through, like, ten minutes of- of a loading screen. It's like, nah, man. <laughs> so, I- but- but I also- I don't want to get started early. I don't want to have a starting soon screen. You know, like, I don't want to get ready for stream ten minutes early. And hit start streaming er ten minutes early. Cause, um, I want to instead- spend my time listening to music before stream. <laughs> I usually have a countdown too, so they know about how long of a wait they are in it. I see. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't got that. More often than not, assuming I've got all my shit together, um, I wait a minute uh, with the starting soon screen. Give time, give people time to come wandering on in and everything. But, uh, but I, I try not to dilly dally. I personally appreciate that your starting screens are only like three minutes max. No, you haven't missed anything. I'm I'm early. Excalibur, you're early. <laughs> I was just we were just chatting about how um how I accidentally I got my times wrong and I started streaming ten minutes early. <laughs> and this is by proxy the earliest you've been here. <laughs> You're early? Yeah, I'm not supposed to start for five minutes. You fool. 
You stinkus winkus? I guess everyone's just got their their internal clocks all all silly willy. So yeah, uh, I don't have any special stories from work today. I guess in theory you could always do something like this. Yeah, I could always start stream like early and, and then just jabber jaw and chit chat and stuff. Especially if I've got like um, if I've got like things to talk about. If I were to have merch theoretically, this could be a, a good time to say it. Or if I felt like I needed to be like, hey guys, I just want to say something like, you know, in chat, please don't do this or whatever, you know, but uh, I don't really need to give you guys rundowns and well, I'm not popular enough to have merch, so. <laughs> but if I were to have like short updates, yeah, this, this would be kind of how to do it, I say. Uh, but yeah, I don't have, I don't have any, uh, outstanding stories for the day. Because, because I am a boring person. <laughs> Work was fine. Nothing special happened. <laughs> I guess, let's, uh, let's scootily do on over to the game. We can, and, and kind of just fart around while we figure out what all we're doing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, look at all that. So, so much. Okay, okay. I'm curious. Are you just doing base Monster Hunter Rise? Or will you be playing Sunbreak as well? Sunbreak's, like, really hard, isn't it? I haven't even- well, I don't own Sunbreak. But I also- I don't think I'm at a high enough, like, like, level to do it in my game. <laughs> like, my personal game. So... Uh, probably just base Monster Hunter. I don't even know how long, like, I'm not, like, planning on uh like going through the story or anything special with monster hunter i just think monster hunter is fun so uh yeah that's the, the plan is really just just play monster hunter <laughs> when i want to <laughs> this is my outfit by the way in case anybody wasn't here for last time here i am I'm a snow bunny. I look like I'm boiling alive. I need to kill something else <laughs> so I can I can get a different outfit. Um, I got Vincent, also in cute little snow bunny outfit. Isn't he cute down there? I love him. And then my dog is Doug. Doug, Doug. Here, I'll even bring Doug in. That way Gemini can, can have their Oshi. There you go. <laughs> what weapon you use? I use the hunting horn. I know it's tough to tell, because this does not look like a horn. <laughs> but yeah. I'm- I'm a- a- a musican. Uh, what in the shit? Oh! Oh, let's go to the other twin! That's right, last time we- we hung out with Hinato. Uh, but let's- is that her name? Uh... But let's hunt some monsters- oh, I don't want to talk to you, Mr. Cat Guy. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do some of these monsters. The fuck is a hunting horn? Exactly what it says, Nimrod. A horn that you hunt with. You know, like a tuba. <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you Nimrod. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <laughs> uh, what is the rogi again? I can't remember. I'm trying to- what's a cool monster? What's got cool armor? We'll kill this guy, he's fun. Music hammer, basically. Whack him with the big instrument. Yeah. <laughs> Hinoa. That's that's her name, right? Hinoa. Hinoa and like Minoa, cause that's the rule. Twins have to have names that are similar to each other. Uh, it's impossible otherwise. What am I missing? Oh, rations, I suppose. But I don't think I can go buy some now from. Talson. That's not who it is. Todd Habercorn. Okay, there we go. Great. This- there's a different, um... Is the game too quiet? I can turn that up a little bit. There's a different animation here. We've seen the one outside. But, uh... We'll play this one, too. It's true. They must rhyme at least, at least, or you'll be hunted down by the state. It's true. They, um, sometimes, you know, a theme is okay. Like, is it, uh, oh, they're, they're both months twins. Okay, cool. So it's like June and May. There you go. That, that's acceptable. I haven't made Pippin a Monster Hunter yet. Must rectify. 
What do I want? Um, defender is good. Uh, medic is good. Deflector is good. Okay. All right, all right. Let's watch the cute little cutscene with the cats. They are cute. I like cats. <laughs> Perfect. I am now super healthy. No one will be stronger than me. Let's kill- what am I fighting again? Rogi. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's depart. Is that everything? Yes, let's depart. Every time I leave for a hunt, it's like that, where I'm like, do I have everything? It's kind of like when I leave the house, honestly. <laughs> like, I'll go to work, and it's like, do I have everything? And half the sometimes I don't. Like, the other day I went to work and I didn't even bring my Red Bull, like a fool idiot. Where do I have you guys? I think I might have you guys covered up by Doug. Hang on. <laughs> where are you, chat? Oh, okay, there you are. I'm gonna scoot you over a little bit. Also, oh, I think I just remembered that I never fixed the problem where- Do you all remember last time how, um, uh, donations would echo? Uh, I forgot to fix that, so if you donate again, it'll still echo. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> didn't, didn't mean to be a bother. <laughs> I can't remember how to play this game. All right. Did everyone ever watch El Cabong? There's a cowboy horse who fought with a guitar. You're making that up. You're making that 100% up, aren't you, Messiah? That's not real. <laughs> I've never heard of anything remotely like that. You're full of horse hockey. <laughs> I am not. I do not trust you. <laughs> oh wait, let me um, eat a meat. But I should have eaten an easy one. I'm a fool. It's fine. I don't want to use my mega potion. I hate my pockets. Oh, ah. Okay. Great. All right. All right. All right. Um, it's a Hanna Barbera cartoon. Oh. Uh. I think I've perceived this guy, actually. <laughs> Seen him, but not cared enough to, like, actually watch. And I think I've only seen it because because of Boomerang. Did any of you ever watch Boomerang? I found a giant bird, by the way. Um, Boomerang commercials used to scare the shit out of me. I don't know why, they just felt so dissonant and weird. It doesn't help that they were always, like, on at... At, in the middle of the night, you know? <laughs> There's something here. Am I gonna find anything here? <laughs> um, no, fuck it. Uh, killing. We're killing monsters. Let's, let's go do that. Um, but yeah, Boomerang was exciting. Just because it was like, it's the only way to watch like, really old school Hanna-Barbera cartoons. The tune in those commercials was weirdly creepy and cool. See? Y exactly! <laughs> what do you think is coming here? One of the- no, m one of the monsters is here. It's just inside and I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's, um, not the one we're looking for. So, we'll just ignore them. That monster's pretty neato, though. You'll notice that it's a little picture in the top right-hand corner kind of looks like an umbrella. And it'll do a thing sometimes where it, like, wraps its wings around itself. And it's made- and it'll hop on one leg. And it's made to resemble a Japanese yokai, which is, uh, basically, like, it's a discarded umbrella. Um, and it turns evil. 
and it's made to like resemble that and that's real flippin' neato and cool in a world where most of the monsters that's also not what we want where most of the monsters are just like a giant bird but mean <laughs> that's what we're looking for <laughs> um having one that's actually uh like based off of a thing is is just real real different hang on i'm slow Perfect. Bless you. I think one of the cats sneezed. <laughs> you know, now that I'm seeing it, I don't think the rogi actually has particularly cool armor, but I can't remember. I think it shoots poison, which means it can't be that bad. That's the rule. Poison equals always cool. I don't make the rules, I just cause them as I see them. <laughs> oh, look at all this stuff, hell yeah! So many goobles! Excalibur, so this is what makes um, a hunting horn, since you asked. <laughs> What makes it special is you can see that I'm playing notes and um, this is what makes it different from just like a hammer is I, I play different little melodies and those give me buffs, buffs and stuff. So my current loadout gives me um, extra stamina, it lets me kind of hit harder and I can heal myself for a small amount and that's what makes it different from just a hammer. Ah! <laughs> Which is, is pretty neato. Because <laughs> I'm not into heavy weapons like this usually. I, I'd much rather usually... If I'm going to be playing like a game like this, I, I'll pick something more like a lance. Ah! Uh, but this, having the song mechanic... <gasps> oh, I've got hiccups. Having the song mechanic is so interesting and different and you'll notice that the first song I've got on my list there self-improvement that makes me automatically a little bit faster so if I were just using a, a like a hammer or another heavy weapon I would um, I would always be a lot slower than, than I am with my horn. <laughs> Trying to find a place to, to sharpen my horn. <laughs> Don't touch me, you cuck. I'm poisoned! No! I didn't bring any antidotes. Oh, I did. <laughs> uh, 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 what the fuck was I saying? Oh, right. Um, uh, Self-improvement makes me always a little bit, a little bit um, faster. So, which helps a lot as well. It made it feel so accessible and fun, and I liked being able to hit hard. No. Oh no, Doug is poisoned. What a problem. That's pretty fucking cool. Who thought of this? The ghost? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know who made the game. <laughs> yeah. And if I do my big move like how I just did, I play all the songs. Ow, isn't that fun? For, so, so that's also kind of the, the fun part about it is it's not just... If, when I get new weapons, when I like forge new, new horns for myself, it's not just which one has the strongest number. Many of them will have a similar sort of attack like value. You know, as you go further in the game, everything gets a little bit stronger. Okay, guess he's running away. <laughs> a perfect opportunity for me to sharpen my horn. Uh, but, so instead of just being like, where's the biggest number? You pay attention to things like, what songs can this instrument play? Because sometimes the strongest ones aren't really my go-to option because they don't have any any songs that I like. I like having stamina buffs. I like having healing songs and sometimes they don't always have that. And it means also not only is, you know, every weapon played differently. Ah. Uh, Cause this is just one out of like 
15 weapons, I think. Um, and they all play completely differently. But... I don't want to get poisoned. Okay. <laughs> uh, but also, hunting horn players in, in and of themselves also can play completely differently. Because I really like the stamina and HP fixin' songs. But someone else who likes to play the hunting horn can be like, Nah, man, I want affinity up always. And, and I need earplugs because... You know, whatever, whatever. And and that's just real cool. I love Monster Hunter because the way you play truly is however you want to play. Like when Allison plays, she uses like one of the bow guns or something. She uses a ranged weapon. And ah, I'm getting my ass beat. <laughs> uh, yeah, she uses one of the ranged weapons and because of that, uh, like, if I look over her shoulder, it's, like, a completely different game. You know, she's playing a third-person shooter, and I'm playing extreme DDR. <laughs> and that's just- it's just so cool. And that's only two of the weapons. I've played around with the long sword as well. There's, like, a samurai kind of long blade that you can- you can get. And that was pretty cool too, and it plays completely differently, um, to the point that it I actively had to try to like forget how to play with the horn. I've just been poisoned <laughs> uh, because I, uh, at least in old games, in order to play a song, I would have to hit one of the R buttons, like the R trigger or whatever, and I don't need to do that for this game. I automatically play play the songs, so cool. But for that older game, oh, something's hacking. <laughs> for that older game, that's how it worked. And uh, that's how the the long blade did like a special move. So as as a um, hunting horn player, I was always playing, uh, always hitting R. But as as like a a long sword player, you want to try to hit R at very specific times instead. Like, you don't want to be hitting it very often. You want to time your your R attacks. <laughs> um, and it's just, it was just bananas and cool. Cool and awesome and neato. Uh, so, long story long. I like Monster Hunter and you should play Monster Hunter. <laughs> I said this last time too, but it's, it's so, like, if someone asks me about Monster Hunter, like, in real life, it's the kind of thing where I get so excited about it that I, like, run out of breath. <laughs> We're doing great. Man, but this thing's still not dead. Ah! <laughs> it's gotta be the world's strongest rogie. I remember, I think this guy was the the enemy in the uh, uh, trailer, or uh, 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 demo, rather, for the, um, the 3DS game. That demo was so good. I do highly suggest, if you are going to play Monster Hunter, uh, download the demo for whatever game is, like, the most current. Uh, uh, so then you can play around with the different weapons. Cause that was, that was the coolest part, was that the demo just, it basically is like, okay, here's a character that you could play as, um, with a loadout for all the different, uh, uh, like weapons. Like, here's one who uses sword, here's one who uses hammer, here's whatever, whatever, whatever. And, uh, you don't need to go through all of them. You could, if you wanted to, but being able to basically test run all the weapons at, like, a decent, like, level... Um, before, like, really getting into it, I think is the coolest way to go about it. Because I really- I didn't think I'd be playing the hunting horn. I thought I was gonna be, uh, like, either the long blade or maybe one of the lances, you know? And so, uh, bows are cool. I thought about maybe doing that. Um, uh, so, 
But I was able to like test them out and be like, oh well, I don't like how slow this one is. I don't like how kind of weak one this one feels. You know, la di da di da. And so having a demo available to just test run how you want to play is uh is super fly, especially for a game like this, where how you play drastically changes. I also think technically I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I think normal people. Um, play with a, a, a selection of different weapons <laughs> and it's not just not just I use hunting horn so I play with the hunting horn <laughs> but but they uh they actually have different things <laughs> that they'll pull out <laughs> like I think I'm gonna use the sword and shield this time <laughs> I really need to sharpen my horn hang on blind him go it may have been too far away for me to blind him. <laughs> Just don't come talk to me. Light bow gun. I see. <laughs> that's that's what Allison uses. <laughs> it was a foolish move. I knew it was coming. This is the trick. While Minota allows you to fight more monsters than her sister does, like, earlier. They are stronger. Yeah, because the game also does kind of expect you to be playing with a friend. <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we're, we'll be okay for a while now. Also, push comes to shove, I could be like, Alison, Alison, come play with me. <laughs> All I care about is cool outfits. So it's just always 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 just a hunt for whatever looks the coolest. <laughs> okay. Um let's go. I should uh sharpen my my boy while I can. I've got infinite infinite whetstones, might as well. In Rise, I enjoy a high mobility version of the Gun Lance. In World, I played a more face tank version of the Gun Lance. See, there you go. It's another good example of different playstyles for the same weapon. I think adding the dog, that it was a risky move, so because they added the cats, and everyone was like, "This is good." And then they added the dogs, and it's like, I don't know, this feels like we're just becoming a bit of a menagerie. You know, is it just gonna be, you know, here, hero, here's three, three Pokemon <laughs> to fight alongside you to make things really easy. Uh, but I think the, uh, the dog adds to your mobility in such a good and efficient way, uh, for like, running around, <laughs> specifically, running around the map, um, that I feel like they've got a good use to them. I would hope that next time they don't add another animal. I think one dog, one cat is a solid way of going about it. Don't don't mind me. I'm just missing. <laughs> one dog, one cat uh, is solid. Yay! Um, uh, and I I don't I don't think we really need to keep adding more and more pets. <laughs> Theoretically, if I have so much time. I probably could have fought one of the other monsters, too. Maybe next time. Great, I got a poison sack. That's what I always wanted. I need water. Could have just left random joins and carry you in the missions. Allison can carry me easily. <laughs> and I can yell at her. Allison, do you wanna play? Do you wanna do you wanna play with me? You help help boost me up to a uh, strong monster area <laughs> so I can get cool cool outfits faster. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Piece of cake. Lord we look warm. <laughs> The dogs and bugs are such a good way to make the game a bit more fast and reverse. Yeah, the bugs are really cool. I don't see any way of going back from this. That was the final kill shot. It's one of the cooler ones I have, despite the dog butt being front and center. Great. 
I'm so strong. Sure, don't remember how to connect on multiplayer, though. Multiplayer, though. That's alright, that's alright. I will, uh, change to a different screen. Just to, I don't know. For privacy's sake. And, uh, and we'll figure that out. <laughs> but yes, you. One of the cats sneezed again. Oh, but first let me go see what if the rogi armor is any 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 good and cool. I just mad boost all my stats in the hub and then I come back to Hinoa and I'm still fighting like two star monsters and she's like, "Oh, hero, you're way too strong." <laughs> oh, that's right. It's a preview. That's not bad, I must say. <laughs> what can I- I could make the hat. That's a pretty cool hat. I can make all the coolest parts, but probably only individually. Um, I'll go with this. Oh, I can't make- oh, well. <sighs> well, that looks kind of stupid. Is it better armor? Hang on. Fuck. <laughs> it is better armor. And I can only make the legs. Well, we'll do that. Great. I look like a fool. <laughs> and, uh, uh, let me look at the weapons. Does Allison get a microphone? Uh, maybe Allison could come sit in here if she wants and we can share a mic. But that's, that's up to her. If she wants to just be on her own, that's okay too. I'm looking at horns. Don't mind me. Looking at stats and such. Defense up, attack up, but it looks so stupid. No one wants a bone weapon. Those are dumb. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep uh, rolling with what we got. The Banabra violins always look so pretty. Health recovery isn't terrible either. Stamina use reduced. Ooh, health regeneration. I don't have any of those things. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Allison's here. <laughs> I'm gonna purposefully talk real quietly so that way in your VOD it sounds like you're just like <laughs> talking to yourself. Uh, uh. And in the distance you can hear Boop. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> We'll we'll hang out on this this uh, uh screen for a sec while I get multiplayer rolling with Allison. <laughs> I'm cre- <laughs> I'm creating a lobby. Go ahead and uh, join my lobby. Okay. Are we friends on this account? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I one, and it wasn't showing that, like, that I was there. I keep thinking you're saying Banabra, like from Bug Snacks. Oh no, yeah, Banabra. They have funny little. We're all fantasy names for things. <laughs> Which I don't remember any of ever. <laughs> <laughs> like the T-Rex. <laughs> oh, here, here. I'm, I'm, I'm setting up, okay. So, uh, there's the passcode. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. And now you should be able to join the lobby. <laughs> Are you playing online or locally? Locally. Okay. Everyone say hi to Allison. Twins. That's me. I found you. What if you made an Allison avatar for co-op streams? Hmm. <laughs> Just have it be like an Emma's paint stick figure. Probably <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. not found. What Let do you me mean? <laughs> Let me in, you fraud. <laughs> I'm glad both of us said what do you mean <laughs> at the same time. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Here, do it online instead. Okay. And pick a different passcode. Uh, 
You guys will never guess what the passcode was. <laughs> okay, this is the passcode. Do you see? Do you see my friend? I do. I okay. do. Alright. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, guys, we don't know what we're doing. Hang on. 4269, is that the passcode? Oh, search by lobby ID? You were close. Search you... by lobby ID. <laughs> you were <laughs> ID. Give me id. Oh, what, a, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> I knew we should have. We should have. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do it live. It's more fun this way. All right. It's organic. Here. ID? What does that fucking mean? I don't know. It says enter a six digit lobby ID. Last time we tried to do this, we just accidentally connected somehow. <laughs> and we were like, why are you in my world? Oh, great. Well, I guess let's play. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, anyway, while we do all this troubleshooting, you all, tell me how professional streamer. You're not wrong. Yo, today at work I had the thought uh, of how cool it would be if, um, if, so we, you know, we've got a, a radio that plays and it's just like normal old music that will be on, on any old radio. Nothing too special. Um, that's not... That's not my email. What am I doing? <laughs> you all distracted me. Um, uh, uh, but I had the thought of how fun it would be if, theoretically, if we just played Splatoon music instead. <laughs> that, so, uh, that's what I say. For all of you out there um, going into business, uh, set it up so that you, your uh, establishment just plays Splatoon music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, illegally. You know, don't get Nintendo's... No, don't ask. <laughs> don't get their permission. <laughs> <laughs> Better to ask uh, forgiveness than to ask permission. Exactly. <laughs> Splatoon music is fire. It is! It's been so long since I've played Splatoon. We played it so so much for like a week two weeks and then just stopped dead yeah it was really <laughs> never a, touched it again it was a real shame can you all hear allison <laughs> please look oh 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 tiddlywinks also we can't play online <laughs> okay 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 let's hang on hang on let <laughs> play locally i'm creating Okay. Not you. Me. My house. Cool. I hear her decently. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> Calamari Incantation is amazing. They're all really good. I will say, I think, of, of the three different idol groups we've had... Okay. Of the, of the three different idol groups that we've had, um, uh, I... I liked... Callie and, uh, no, not Callie and Mari. The other two. Pearl and Marina. I liked them the best. What do you mean lobby not found? What was your password again? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it wasn't a funny, no funny number. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> if you all want to know, my first password that I, I did, it was 6969. <laughs> I guess it's a local lobby, so it's not as though anyone could bomb our stream. I picked 7891. What a weirdo number. My second option was boob. <laughs> with with 8008. What do you mean lobby not found? <laughs> You're doing something wrong. Okay. <laughs> you you must be. <laughs> Here, just hit find a lobby. Okay. Just hit and find a lobby. 
I'm I'm glad this is happening. Me too. Me too. I'm glad that this will be immortalized. Yeah. We did it. That's there it is. No, I already hit that. No. What do you mean no? It tells me lobby not found. What? Yeah. But it, I'm there. It's there. I you found it. Yeah. Okay. It's not okay. e like I'll even show you guys. That's Look. So weird. Look, there's Allison. I, but I can't. And, and it hates me. <laughs> so, just to give you all a sneak peek on what we're dealing with. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about this? You try in local. Um, create a lobby. Not with a lock. Just, just create. <laughs> Alright. I've created a lobby. Okay. Maybe this time it'll work. Are you plugged Lobby's in? not found. Keep, keep hitting it. It took a while to load. Don't give up after the first time. Don't bruh us. <laughs> We're so interesting and fun, though. <laughs> turn it off, turn it on again. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you guys plugged into the internet? <laughs> <laughs> it's local play. <laughs> the internet option didn't work. <laughs> because my Nintendo account is linked to my other, other account. <laughs> Lord, it's warm. It is a hot day. It's always a hot day. You know what? How about this? Huh. Let's scrap the idea for now. Great. And then if we want to do a co-op stream, uh, we'll just try it before eh. stream starts. And then that way... <laughs> That way we don't have to make everyone sit through our riveting gameplay. <laughs> yeah. Just beat the switch up. Great. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, let me uh, stop talking to the courier. Okay, I'm bouncing. Your room is hotter than mine. Yeah, it's because I've got a window facing the sun. <laughs> Wow, what a fun little adventure that was, where we just chit-chatted with Allison for a little bit. See you later, guys. Bye bye <laughs> No co-op. Nope, it, it doesn't. The Nintendo Lords said no. No, we hate you, twins and Allison. <laughs> we hate you specifically. So, uh, not today. Unfortunate, but... It is what it is. Let's fight, let's fight the Umbrella. <laughs> but that's okay, I'll just be a super cool dude and I'll kill two monsters in one go by myself. Because I'm the coolest, you see. Um, that's fine, I, I really don't need to uh, uh, fill up my pockets. It's just one star monsters. Wow, that was fantastic, I know. Listen, you're not a real streamer until, uh, until you have a hyper scuffed situation like that. <laughs> so congratulations me. Um, I'm a real streamer. Congratulations to me. Wahoo. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take a bow. Hang on. Let me... I'll take a bow. Uh, maybe I'll take a bow. <laughs> there I am. I'll take a bow. Thank you. Thank you. I, I couldn't have done this without Allison. <laughs> and there you go. You get a, You got to see the cats do their their thing again. <laughs> Thank you for coming to our riveting show. <laughs> Just woke up from a nap. What I miss? I killed one monster, and then we spent like thirty minutes fucking around trying to get co-op to work. We could not get co-op to work. <laughs> now I'm gonna go kill an umbrella. <sighs> Uh, let's go! <laughs> Thought the bat was just twins rotating her PNG. I don't know if I can rotate. I'll be honest. I don't think I can. No, I can- I can scooch. But I don't know how to, uh, how to do rotations. I should figure that out, though. It's probably holding a button and then it- it allows me to do things. Kill Rihanna? No, no, no. We're going to become Rihanna, you see. What's everyone's favorite Rihanna song? 
I think mine is four or five seconds. Is that what that's fucking called? <laughs> I'm not number one Rihanna fan, I'll be honest. I don't hate her by any means. <laughs> but I just, I, I don't feel confident in all of her song names. Well, well, what's the thing that isn't on my map? Let's go to the question mark first. And then, and then we'll make our way. Actually, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna try to kill two things. Two birds, one stone. Same. Who the fuck is Rihanna? Excalibur, you can't be serious. She's one of the most prolific and popular musicians of the decade. She's been around since like 2004. She, <laughs> she's sung the national anthem at like football stadiums. <laughs> She used to be part of the group, um, boy, she used to be part of a group. <laughs> it was a, a girl group, there were like three of them, and I don't remember what songs they've sung. Oh, it's just the bear. I don't care. Don't care about the bear. Um, boy, howdy, what group did she used to be part of? ha. <laughs> Twins killed Doja Cat, and now she's gonna kill Rihanna. Beyonce will be the final boss. In this sort of scenario, Beyonce would absolutely be the final boss. She's so strong. She's so powerful. And and not, not helped by the fact that her fans are the most aggressive, is how I will describe it. <laughs> and nothing wrong with with, you know, standing your fave. Rihanna had a- I changed my mind. Actually, if we're counting duets, Rihanna did a song with Eminem, which was really, really good. I liked that one a lot. It's Monster. Um, so, look up Eminem, Monster, uh, Rihanna's in it, and, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I am thinking of Destiny's Child. That was Rihanna, right? <laughs> I know I sometimes mix up Rihanna and Beyonce's histories. <laughs> They look nothing alike. They don't even sound similar, but I feel like I just became aware of them at the same time. <laughs> Mope, it was Beyonce. Oh, pissy poo. Tiddlywinks. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> uh, it's, I, I, like I said, <laughs> I'm not number one Rihanna fan. <laughs> I do my best. It's like how Gwen Stefani and Avril Lavigne also kind of exist in the same part of my brain. <laughs> I don't make the rules, it's just how it is. <laughs> hey. Ah, Rihanna was also in one of those cheerleader movies. You all know about the cheerleader ones. Fucking, like, step it up or whatever. Bring it on. Those ones. Um. Ah. You douchebag. <laughs> I really wish I had a friend with me right now who could kill these things for me. Oh, what a shame that Nintendo hates me personally. Okay, okay, sorry. I was, I was running and healing. Okay. Uh, I was running and healing and being a bitchy little whiny baby. But yeah, Rihanna was in one of those. <laughs> she was, and like, she was just playing Rihanna, like, as herself. I think it was Rihanna. It'd be really embarrassing if that one was Beyonce, too. <laughs> How do I keep getting poisoned this time around? <laughs> huh. Literally how? I don't know! I don't know! Uh, they're just, they, it's... <laughs> They don't- oh, I did not want to drink that mega potion. <laughs> that was a massive waste. It's fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, they just- they just exist at the same time. It's kind of like- it's kind of like when you just discover two things at around a similar time, and so it's like, man, Wind Waker and Pat Benatar go hand in hand in my eyes. It's like that. I'm poisoned again, because this guy is- the worst dude on planet Earth. <laughs> I actually think it's all his stupid children that keep poisoning me. Though he's definitely not helping. Ah! 
cheerleader movie explains nothing. Maybe if you're an uncultured little, like, swine. <laughs> Poison again. Exactly what I love the most. <laughs> She was in the Battleship movie! Yeah! <laughs> I forgot that existed. <laughs> Excalibur, it might be easier for you to just um, do a Google image, image search for Rihanna <laughs> at this point. We can't keep going through her entire list of, of accolades <laughs> and... <laughs> Especially as not even number- like, listen, if you were like, Danny Sex Bang who, then I could- I could go on and on and on and be like, you know, he's not so grump after John Tron left. He, uh, you know, he- he used to be in a, a band called Sky Tree Hill. He's done a cover of- of, like, Big Pipes, which was unexpected and cool. Uh, you know, like, I could- I could run down Danny's entire discography, <laughs> but as not number one Rihanna fan, <laughs> I cannot offer you the same service for- for Riri. <laughs> if she may allow me to say- refer to her so casually. <laughs> Good, so you see how it's like huffing and puffing now? Now the monster is like- limpy and it's got a lot of spit coming out of its face. It can't breathe its poison when it's like that. It's tired and so it, it cannot do its breath. So uh, that's a little uh, how to be a monster hunter with twins. <laughs> Wait for them to spit a lot and then that, that that now's your chance. Oh I should have talked about this while we were having our technical difficulties. There's a new Chillizart game. Chillizart makes like cool scary games. I've watched Jacksepticeye play like all of them. You've, if any of them, I think the play as a cafe worker one is, might be the most popular. Uh, yeah, like if you've seen any of them, it's probably that. And there's a new, there's a new one. There's a new, uh, there's a new Chillizart game. And so, oh, yes, I, I know. I, <laughs> thank, thank you game. <laughs> um, and so, uh, And I was like, oh man, I should wait for uh, Jacksepticeye to play that so I could see it. But now I'm like, wait a minute, I'm a streamer. <laughs> and it's a scary game. And that's the thing, I, I can't really play any of Chillizard's other games on stream because I've, I've seen the scares. <laughs> so so what's the point? But I I haven't seen this one because it's new. So I was thinking about getting that. Thinking about getting, getting a spooky scary game. Uh, I'm playing that on stream for you guys. You all let me know if that sounds like a stinky, dumb idea or not. I don't think any of you would say that, because I will say, if anything, I think I'm pretty, pretty, pretty hilarious while playing scary, scary stuff. Ooh, that'd be fun. Awesome. All right, excellent. Well, great. A good excuse for me to spend, like, eight dollars. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I should also tell you guys about this. So, you know, I was able to get, uh, get, uh, getting over it, uh, with Benifati. You know, I played that last time, and that was fun and cool. Because the Steam Summer Sale is going on right now, and that's why I, I got it, because it was only like a dollar. Um, and I was like, well, since the sale is going on, I should capitalize on this and get other games that I've been thinking about getting. I was gonna get, um, Power Wash Simulator, but that's like fucking... So expensive. <laughs> Even on sale, it's like still like 23 bucks. And I'm like, what? <laughs> For power wash simulator? <laughs> For a solid one, maybe two stream game. So I don't know. I'm gonna need some convincing for uh for power wash simulator. Especially if it takes takes a while and I'm I miss the summer sale. Uh and that's fine. Uh but um Definitely one I'd like to play, but I don't know about that price tag. I've I already have a list of games that I want to purchase. <laughs> oh, pissed the hiccups are trying to come back. <gasps> ah, including um, I need to get Shadow of the Colossus. <gasps> ah, I need to get Shadow of the Colossus. That's the next one. That's the one my patrons voted on. <gasps> oh shit! Oh, I can't pause. It's Monster Hunter. <gasps> ah. 
Ah. <laughs> um, um, I still want to play Resident Evil. That's another one on my on my list of things. Uh, uh. Oh man, it hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now you're all- Oh, good, the bear showed up! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> that, I'm, it hurts. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna try holding my breath. Still doing it. Still holding. Okay, that's enough. Thank you, Mr. Bear. So good as new. <laughs> okay, okay. I couldn't hold my breath any longer. I think the hiccups are gone, so thank Jesus. Uh, they did add SpongeBob content. I noticed that, and I don't care <laughs> about Power Wash Simulator. How about a Monster Hunter Smasher Pass? I don't know. I don't think I'd smash any of the monsters. That's the thing. Pokemon are so cartoony, and some of them are so humanoid uh, that it's like I don't know, it feels like doable. But, uh, sorry, I'm lost in my menu right now. Uh, but, um, like, with Monster Hunter, they're all just, like, big lizards. <laughs> or, sometimes it's a big cat. I will concede. But it's, the, like, I don't, they, they're all pass. It, it wouldn't be nearly as interesting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you sharpening a hammer? Um, it's a horn. And, because... I ha it's part of the gameplay loop. I do kind of wish, like, I could, like, it was tuning. I like the idea of, it's, you know, sharpening in, in air quotes, but really I I'm tuning the, uh, the horn. <laughs> Some, oh man, Allison with the good jokes. This is why I'll never be a as good of a content creator as she could be. <laughs> because some of the notes need to be sharp, not flat. <laughs> and there are blades on it too. Like I am still hitting the monster to a degree. Like <laughs> So that and that's what it's for. Why am I sharpening it? So I can hurt the enemy real good. A uh, duh. <laughs> well, look at this guy. Never heard of sharpening a horn before. Ha ha ha. Ho he ho he ho. <laughs> Some of, sometimes they're stringed instruments also. <laughs> Depends on, on what uh, what hunting horn you get. Sometimes they're actually more like the violins or or a harp kind of a, a deal. Potion? Hata! Friendly reminder that this rogi still isn't even the thing we're here for. <laughs> and that I have just chosen to fight two things. Because I I could. Where'd he go? There he is! Murder! In game. <laughs> But you're not like sharpening the blade. Excalibur, are you also the kind of person who goes, I don't understand why Rock and Raccoon talks. He's an animal. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> we 
wait a minute. So they just learned how to do alchemy? Even though they're just little kids? That doesn't seem very realistic. <laughs> That's the Elric brothers. Oh, I, did I kill it? I killed the thing. And now I'm just hitting it for no good reason. All right, great. I killed this guy. Now we can go kill the other guy. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, you bug fuck. Don't interact with me. All right, we're good. Okay. I really need water, but I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I've got like 45 minutes left in this hunt. <laughs> oh, but Excalibur doesn't even believe in Santa. I bet you're right. Cringe. Cringe, man. Who do you think brings those presents then, huh? Come on. <laughs> Next you'll be telling me that you think the Tooth Fairy doesn't, doesn't exist either. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> oh, the bear. Hi, bear. I don't need you, but thanks for helping me earlier. It's technically really more of a badger. Running out of time. You fought a whole extra monster. <laughs> yeah, but it's because I knew I could. <laughs> Huh? Look at all that time I have left of just wandering between I'm running out of time and I'm swimming in time. <laughs> no one's ever had more time to do anything than me. <laughs> I have- I don't have time to get a drink of water, but I have time to fight a whole extra monster. <laughs> Quite frankly, I could probably also fight the bear. <laughs> But I don't want to push my luck too hard. <laughs> my hubris would come flying right back at me. Huh? Oh, that was a good, good song too. I was doing great. Oh, I forgot this guy launched grenades like that. I really like the monster designs. Monster Hunter makes me wish I could like design realistic things. Not only am I already just not all that good at drawing animals and such anyway, but I definitely can't do it particularly realistically and definitely not these like, well, monsters kind of a thing. If I can, if anything, I can draw like cute little guys, but, but definitely not cool, cool big stuff like this and golly, I wish I could. <laughs> I didn't mean to sharpen my horn right there, by the way, in the middle of the way, but uh, I pressed the wrong button. It worked out. We're fine. <laughs> I'll never suffer for, for my actions. <laughs> Do you see how sometimes it stands on its one leg? Remember, I told you it, it, it's, it looks like an umbrella sometimes. Ow! <laughs> You know what's cool? Japanese ghosts. I was looking at a list of, list of Japanese ghosts and spirits, um, just for fun. <laughs> Literally not for anything, just because I wanted to know. <laughs> um, and they're always so neato, but I think my favorite part is the fact that sometimes, you know, it'll be like a really complex kind of story where it's like, oh, this is the ghost of a girl who, uh, like she has no eyes. Or actually, the, here's a real example. This is the ghost of a girl who is bisected. She's just like from the waist up um, and she flies around at night and will attack people who are like in rice fields alone um, and she fights- she kills people with a scythe cutting them in half replicating her own death and it's like wow that's- that's complex and interesting uh, that's so neato and then others are like this one is um, a this one just looks like a door. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, cool. What does it do? Well, sometimes it won't open. Huh. <laughs> um, and I just think that's fun. <laughs> it makes me want to, like, make, like, like a gacha game collection of of Japanese spirits and yokai uh, uh, as as like anime characters <laughs> or something <laughs> I think that'd be fun 
it would also have to be something I get paid to do, because there are so damn many of them. But it would be real neato. Tiki Tiki, I believe, is the horror monster's name. Oh, uh, which one? The one that's ripped in half and cuts people in half? Ah, cool. <laughs> you mean yokai? Or are they from China? Uh, uh, well, yokai, spirits, ghosts, oni, kami. It was like a list of all of them. <laughs> so, uh, uh, all of the above. This guy's so easy. I also, this guy always makes me think of Kazooie. <laughs> I think it's because it's a giant sassy bird that sometimes shoot fire. <laughs> Humongous Kazooie energy. <laughs> ah, don't touch me. Don't touch me though. Don't touch me. Okay, we're all right. I should play Monster Hunter Stories. I never finished that game. I've talked about that before. Actually, I need to heal. I need, I ought to heal myself. Um. I've talked about that before, how I got a decent way through Monster Hunter stories. I don't think I ever told you why I stopped playing. It's because, oh, I thought it was running away. It's because um, I got to a hard boss and I lost and I like rage quit. I just full ass rage quit and I just stopped playing completely. <laughs> yeah. What I find interesting is that there's a ship yokai, which or uh, origins from the people seeing the ship from foreign lands invading. There's a lot of water-based um, like yokai and spirits and such, which makes sense. Japan is an island. <laughs> you know, you. If Japan were, uh, uh, like, you know, if you live in the desert, you have you don't have nearly as many water-themed <laughs> um, spirits and such in your in your culture. So yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, there's there's a, a ton of like water like water ocean beach sort of yokai. It's cool. I think they're real neat. Sounds like something twins would do. What? You mean I just mad rage quit a game? <laughs> I don't usually rage quit. Okay, I will say, I do get very angry if I lose, especially in an RPG. And Monster Hunter Stories is, because if you die in an RPG, like, that's a, a really long battle you have to do again. Um, and it's like, I, I hate do that, doing that. I hate having to, like, refight boss battles. Um, so, if I rage quit, it is most likely going to be an R a JRPG, <laughs> and that is why. Um, it's why I also always play on the easiest difficulty, fun fact. But that same thing happened with Final Fantasy X! I was playing Final Fantasy X, um, and I got to a really difficult boss fight. And the problem was I don't have my healer with me, like, due to the, like, the story. The story has taken, taken her away from me. I'm on a mission to, to rescue her, even. Well, I was. It's been so long, I don't think I could pick it up again now. I don't know if I'd remember how to play. <laughs> but, um... I did a boss fight, and then it, like, jumps immediately into another boss fight. Like, I wasn't able to- like, there was a, a cutscene, and- but I wasn't able to save. So, and then I lost. I lost that second one, and I had to do the first boss fight over again. And once again, I just rage quit. I just didn't- I stopped playing. Um, see, that's the trick, is I have to allow myself to be mad enough to rage quit. Uh, but stay mad enough that I care enough to keep keep coming back like be like okay rage quit You know, but don't turn off the game. You know time to oh, take a break. Let's eat something kind of a But I can't let myself in that situation turn off the game because otherwise I just don't come back <laughs> Just joined and haven't heard the umi bozu get a shout out yet. What which one's that one? I'm bad with the names. <laughs> but if you tell me what they do, then I would I would appreciate it. I gotta say my favorite yokai is the one where it looks like a whale skeleton. Oh, you know what's a cool one? I like um 
It's a giant skeleton. It's like a humongous little skeleton guy. And they're supposed, like, the, the thing is that they exist where, um, like, basically mass burials, but not, like, graveyards kind of a thing. Um, and they, like, kind of rule over those lands. And they're neato. They're neato and cool. Oops. How are you still alive? Good gravy. How many different yokai we gotta talk about before you kick the bucket, man? What happened to the- there it is. Did I blind you successfully? I don't think so, I'll be honest. <laughs> But it is tired! Now's my chance! Stay there. Stay on the ground. And go, go, come on. This will be so effective and good. Yeah, look at all that damage. It's like a big old bald head in the ocean with glowy eyes. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but you all know that I also love scary ocean shit. <laughs> Subnautica would be a real different experience with me. That's the thing. I always see people, like, every time someone plays Subnautica, it feels like the title is someone who's terrified of the deep ocean plays the deep ocean game. And that's, like, swell and fine, too. But, as someone who is very much, I don't have Thaslophobia. Um, so, me playing Subnautica, I'm not saying I'm the most interesting person on planet Earth. But, it wouldn't be that kind of pseudo-horror vibe that so many other people can't bring to the table with their, uh, with their, their Subnautica streams. But that's another one, I'll just keep it on my list of, list of... Games in the future, because, <laughs> uh, don't own that one. And I don't have the funds right now for it. Especially because I want to- I want to buy myself a manga. There's a manga that I've been wanting for, like, a, a year now. And, uh, and I think I, I want to start actually getting that. Getting that hip happening. So, I gotta ration out my- my spending money. I can't be spending all my funds all willy-nilly. I gotta spend wisely. Like, an adult, I guess. Have you played Iron Lung yet? No, I watched Mark play. Um, uh, I don't think me playing it would be all that interesting on stream. And I've, like, seen all the stuff. So, it, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm not, not really a solid option for me. But I'm excited to see what, the, uh, what Mark's movie is going to be like for that. Because... I really liked the game, um, and I think Markiplier is a creative person, so really excited to see how he kind of adds and expands on on what we got in Iron Lung. Whenever I see the music note shield, I imagine twins playing. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm jabber drawing, and then just like la. All right. <laughs> Stop hitting me, I'm trying to do a fucking wombo combo move. I said higgledy piggledy in front of one of my managers today and they thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Don't walk away from me. You jerk. It's either someone who's afraid of the ocean or a full on marine biologist. There is no in between, yeah. A marine biologist playing Jesus Christ Excalibur. <laughs> Sorry, just Excalibur just left an essay in chat, and I saw that come in through the corner of my eye, and I thought it was a bot. <laughs> you are really testing my ability to read and play play Monster Hunter at the same time. <laughs> what monkey are you trying to get? I can't remember what it's called. Um. But it's kind of a naughty manga. <laughs> I don't, it's not hentai, I don't think. <sighs> but it's naughty. It's inappropriate. I guess that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> wanna, wouldn't want to taint your your nice innocent ears. 
smacks the ground, <laughs> plays one second of Smash Mouth. <laughs> How are you still alive? I'm gonna run out of time at this rate. Oh, good, I killed it. I <laughs> just had to, just, just had to complain. <laughs> okay, what has like my favorite yokai is the Teka Teka, the girl with the scythe. Her name is in onomatopoeia. Uh, yeah, uh, the sound of her walking on her hands. Ew. She has alternate names like Koto Koto, Hijikate, Baba. Teka Teka chases its victims down dark roads despite having no legs. A Teka Teka can run incredibly fast, so fast in fact, that it can even catch up to victims who are speeding away in cars. When it catches them, something terrible happens. Legends are not always clear what it is. Yeah, that was spooky. I like that. <laughs> I win. And I killed two whole monsters, what? And I think I'm right. I think I could have also killed the bear, but that's fine, I don't care. <laughs> the bear's armor is whatever. <laughs> we're so dramatic. Doug, look at us. We're so, we're so cool. Oh, and here's the final, final screen. That's what it always is. It's always a monster's ass. <laughs> look at Doug over there. You can't see him, hang on, wait. <laughs> Look at, look at my dug dog. <laughs> All right, let's gather my my winnings and go go take a gander at armor and, and weapons. <laughs> Twins, let's say a prayer for the monster. Suck it, you overgrown turkey. <laughs> Doug, I <our> helped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. And these are all the the lamo baby monsters, you know. Lamo wimpy baby monsters. Eventually, we'll get to like real ass wyverns. Wyverns? I don't know. No matter how you pronounce it, someone's gonna make fun of you for it. <laughs> uh, let's look at the armor first. Uh, this is the umbrella guy. That's what it makes. That's not bad. That's pretty neato for being like armor armor. Um, right, and I, I killed the rogi again. Okay, okay. How do I still not have like half the shit needed to make rogi armor? Oh, I'm missing like ore and and crystals and shit. I'll have to do a run around and see if I can get like get like rocks. I'll have to go bust up some rocks. Oh, I want this, which means I'll have to fight fight him again. Gotcha. All right, equipped. I need to change the torso. I need to do that because I look so stupid. <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, take a la gander at weapon stuff. Wyverns, I see. Okay, yeah. Uh, definitely expect me to pronounce a wyvern again <laughs> because that's what happens when you just never really know. Why? Why no no cool new weapons, huh? Boo. Boo yuck boo. Well, that's fine. Okay, let's um, go on a hunt where we kind of just uh, fuck around in the wild. Um, so then haunt, big, big air quotes. <laughs> so we can like touch some grass and such. If people say wyverns, they can go walk into the Balverin Cave? I bet that joke would be funnier if I knew what that was. <laughs> um, the ruins or the- what do we- what can we- Uh, uh, yeah, we'll go with- 
the ruins. I don't need to kill anything while I'm out there. I might though, because I'm really strong and cool. <laughs> I'm still doing really well with my my items too. Okay. Uh got to eat dongo. Always have to have a a pre pre-hunt snack. Um harvester, yes. Gatherer, yes. Feet. There we go. Now I won't slip. Oh, I don't need to watch this again. Okay. <laughs> Great! Are you all excited for the pulse-pounding uh, excitement of, of picking up acorns and such? <laughs> I find it interesting that dragons have a wide variety of appearance. Yo! Did anyone read- did anyone have that dragonology book and or board game growing up? That was our shit! Dude, dragonology was so fun and cool. And and yeah, dragons are just cool and neato. And they, they come in so many different flavors. And I like dragons. <laughs> I've always liked dragons. Dragons are cool. What do we have? Um Uh cool, I could I could fight the uh, umbrella again, but I I wanna touch the grass. That's my primary goal, is touching grass. Um but yeah, dragons are super fly, and they come in so many different options, and I like dragons. Yo, American Dragon Jake Long. <laughs> Anyone watch that growing up? He's voiced by Zuko. <laughs> like the same, it's Dante Bosco, the same guy who voices Zuko from Avatar. So, that's really fun. <laughs> I'm gonna go find Rihanna too, exactly. <laughs> Getting honey is probably good. I good. Oh, yo, Dragon Tales, a solid, you know, growing up cartoon teaches you a bunch of Spanish. That's fun. Who was your favorite dragon on Dragon Tales? I liked one half of the twins, <laughs> cause you know, like, there were the twins, but they were a two-headed dragon. Um, and I liked the the boy because the girl, despite being purple, and I do like purple, she was annoying. <laughs> Where could all the rocks be? What is this? What's here? Just a cute little shrine, I guess. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Spyro is also cool. Spyro is neat. <laughs> I liked the idea of Spyro having, you know, like, all these different dragons to save. And I'm glad that in the uh, remake version that, they, that they're, that they like, clearly different. You know, like, they're not just the same kind of, like, one model used over and over again, but in different colors. Like, they really gave them, like, personalities. But even then, it's like, yo, we're gonna be saving all these dragons. I wish they had, like, more character to them. More to do, you know? But, uh, maybe that's just me. Dragons are hella fun. Ultra Necrozma might just be my favorite take on a dragon yet. Ultra Necrozma. Oh, in Pokemon? Oh, are we count calling that a dragon? I guess it's pretty dragon adjacent, isn't it? It's a complex one, but not in a bad way. Let's see. I like how the dragons in the How to Train Your Dragon franchise- Oh yeah, they were cool. They were also so like varied and neato, which, which was a lot of fun. I only have watched the uh... Whoops. <laughs> that was me trying to attack the bushes. It's fine. <laughs> I don't think there was a rock up there anyway. Um, I only watched like the first one though in How to How to Tame Your Dragon. I know what happens in the second one and I can get a general sense of what's going on with the third one. I liked them plenty. I just don't watch a whole lot of movies. <laughs> Where are all the rocks, damn it? <laughs> so bad at video games. <laughs> Liked Quetzal the teacher, simply because it was short for Quetzalcoatl. 
Yeah, that's fair. He was also pretty cool, so... It's a win-win, I'd say. <laughs> I don't think there's anything up there, if memory serves correctly. There are just no rocks. This whole damn place is is a whole whole ass mountain with no rocks in it. This is baloney. This is bananas. This is bullshit. <laughs> a lot of bugs though. And at least there's plenty of honey. A new legend of Spyro would have been cool. Yeah, would have been. I'm surprised they haven't made one. I feel like the remake did well and what what oh there's a rock and what else is the point of like doing a cool remake like that if not to gauge audience reaction and on whether or not to make a new game i mean i guess they could be making working on a game but it's been a while with like no word um you'd think we would have heard about it by now You know what I want, as always, I want a new banjo game. And, uh, Greg Kirkhope recently, like, released, like, a, a redone version of the, of the soundtrack. Which is pretty, pretty fly. Pretty, pretty damn super fly. And a part of me wants to believe that that's, oh, this is for the new game. They're remaking banjo. Even just a remake. Like, I'd love Banjo 3E. But just like kind of a zhuzhed up version of Banjo Kazooie and Tooie, like how um, Crash got, you know, with its its uh, its deal, uh, that'd be pretty fly as well. I don't know if we're gonna get it, but I'd like to believe. <laughs> Always gotta believe. It's all we have. <laughs> Gathering can be so relaxing. Per thank you, Vincent. A sweetie pie over there. I, w I remember someone pronounced Quetzalcoatl as Quetzal coat. <laughs> Quetzal coat, I see. No, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> you gotta, gotta add the L. <laughs> I'm excited to be watching the VOD later and to be like, I'm fucking stupid. There's so many rocks I'm just running past. Too busy looking at all the- all the dumb bugs. <laughs> We're gonna explore a little bit more here in the water. And then I think that's kind of the whole area. Well, I haven't really been up there. Let's go up. Going up would be easier if I followed the water, actually. <laughs> Can I go up this waterfall, or is... No. That's all right, we'll make our way up. Hello, welcome. I am gathering right now. It's not nearly all that exciting, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will be fighting one of the monsters. I'm just uh, just running around touching grass and picking up rocks <laughs> currently. <laughs> but come on in. What we're doing, we're talking about dragons. <laughs> kind of gone onto a little uh, little drag dragon jabber jaw. <laughs> Uh, so feel free to share your favorite dragon. I don't know if I have a favorite, like, just a dragon. Now I have to think about it, though. <laughs> I just like them in general. I can't think of, like, a single dragon thing I've seen. You know, where it's like, like, that's the point is, look at this cool dragon, isn't it neat? <laughs> I guess I'd pick Spyro, just, you know, he's so iconic. I want to be over there. Do you think I can make it? I don't. Let's try. It certainly doesn't help if I don't press all the right buttons. <laughs> Put the horn away. No. I fucked up. It's fine. I've just busted my ankles. <laughs> and I did not do what I wanted to do. Uh, uh, don't- no one pay attention to that. Everyone- just tell me I'm cool. <laughs> Shenron. Oh, Shenron is neat. That's a great option. I, f I feel so dumb for not thinking of him. Huh? 
Do you all think I can climb that? I don't. All right, okay, okay. Uh, da -da. Up there, let's try going up there. I don't even think there's rocks up here. Now I'm just exploring. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no rocks, but I found a cute little shrine. This would this would be enough to like set off all of Reddit if this were in um Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough uh, wandering and such. Let's go kill the umbrella. I guess I can't pick up that guy. All right. Please, please listen to me. Don't embarrass me in front of the new person. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> Let's be honest. I've already embarrassed myself. <laughs> Deathosaurus is a cool-ass dragon robot. I'm unfamiliar with that one. Oh, a rock. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. I think that's all the, all the fancy rocks to be hidden around these parts. Now we're all beefed up. Let's go. Let's go destroy an umbrella. <laughs> That's what I'd done. <laughs> I'd pressed- I'd tried to jump and I'd hyper-pressed the wrong button. It's fine. It's fine. I feel like Monster Hunter is the game above all others. Where I kind of forget how to play every time. And it- it just kind of ends up being like muscle memory, you know? <laughs> oh. He flew away. Come back! Doug! Come to me! What's this Deathosaurus boy from? Is that like from a... Uh... Oh, that one franchise where like you play motorcycle games and, and stuff? <laughs> yeah, you know the one. You actually really might not. And I don't know if I do either. <laughs> I'm just thinking of giant, giant robot dinosaurs. <sighs> Everything's really red in my eyes. <laughs> Like, in this game that I'm referencing shittily. <laughs> you all probably know what I'm talking about. You all usually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey. I should heal. I'm playing a dangerous game right now. We're fine. <laughs> Gotta go. Well, adios. Have fun. Eat your vegetables. Drink your water. Make smart choices. See you on the flip side. <laughs> what time is it? Okay. This... We're gonna kill this one umbrella, and then I think we'll kill the rogi again, and that'll be it for... today. Assuming that I got the rock. <laughs> if I got the rock that I need, then, then that'll be the plan. And yeah, next week, if and just in case you all didn't see my, my tweet, I'm thinking of uh, changing up when I stream. And so next week, uh, I've got a dentist appointment on Monday. <laughs> so assuming that I'm still, like, cool enough to stream on Monday, that'll happen. But, uh, 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 and then I'll stream on Tuesday instead of Thursday. Because I'm always so tuckered on Thursday. And I'm thinking, ah, oh, it's because it's the end of the week. So if I stream on Tuesday... I won't be all tired yet, you know? Like, like, work, work builds throughout the week. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Girl, what are you saying? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's like a game in my head, and it's a real game. <laughs> I didn't make this up. And it's like, you fight robot dinosaurs, but also there's like a spin-off where you just run around on a motorcycle in like 2D, I think. <laughs> um, and that's the problem is that I'm ludicrously unclear about basically every feature about this game that I've, I've discussed. <laughs> Which monster are you planning to focus on farming for? It's stuff when you unlock them. I don't have any, like, plans 
right now. The Narsilla definitely- is that what it's called? The giant spider definitely has the coolest armor. So, maybe that. Um, Astaroth armor is also really neato, so maybe that. Uh, but right now it's really just kind of go- Oh, you know, so I always do like the Kezu. I always, you know, try to fit myself out with Kezu armor. But since I do that all the time, maybe I'll go with something else. <coughs> I do like the Kezu, though. We have to at least fight it. Maybe, uh, make a, make a spooky outfit for Vincent or Doug, <laughs> you know. <laughs> The Magnamolo makes a very good guitar that I can use, so maybe that. But I don't think you have to grind too much in order to get that happening. Honestly, it'd be more efficient to uh, go for that by following the main story. Um, they will show up in the, uh... oh, I forget what they're called, where you have to like hold down the fort, <laughs> you know? One of those kinds of missions. Eventually a Magnamola will show up and <coughs> they drop tons of stuff. So that. I'm so thirsty. Hang on. I've got unlimited time so I can get, I can get water. Rampage. Thank you. I can get water. Horizon? Yes! I am thinking of Horizon. No, I'm not thinking of Horizon. I'm sorry. I lied. I was so excited too. Yeah, not thinking about Horizon and not thinking about Cadillacs and dinosaurs. I I'll never I'll never know. I will tweet about it if I figure it out. I'll tweet about it with as much context as I can give it. <laughs> It'll be like that game with motorcycles and dinosaurs that I was thinking about earlier, and then a picture of it, and you guys will will all be like, oh. <laughs> It came out, like, fucking a decade ago. This is a, an ancient game at this point, so... Good luck figuring it out, I guess. <laughs> Getting into beef with the boars? Okay. Okay, guy. <laughs> What's the platform the game was on? Like, 360, I think? Maybe the one? <laughs> the one. Xbox One. <laughs> Ought to specify, seeing as how there's a there's a PlayStation one of those as well. <laughs> You'll eventually unlock layered armor. Yeah, I know, I know. That's uh, but I have to go through the main story to do that. And I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I have no hard plans with Monster Hunter. It's basically just just fuck around and have fun. Um, and I eventually I'd like to play it with my friend. <laughs> if the game didn't hate us. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Allison, I just realized. Are you hungry? Allison, did you want dinner? You don't have to wait for me. You can you can eat. Don't don't worry about me. You if you're hungry, eat. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a burden with my streaming and such. <laughs> bye bye Pippin. One of the cats has left my room. He ran away again. Okay. Come on, Doug. We're, we're we're so close. I can feel it. You had mozzarella. You did have your mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Allison, your cooing is gonna be heard on stream. Why did I go with such a, a dumb route to get to the monster? I feel like there was definitely a quicker way I could have gone. It's fine. Al Allison, thank you, Master. You're so kind. I know, I am benevolent, aren't I? <laughs> Honestly, thought Twins was gonna say, Are you hungry, Allison? Well, too bad. <laughs> I would never want to deprive a gal of, of dinner. <laughs> this is the 
Real friends let their friends eat dinner. <laughs> I was a lot further away from the wall than I thought I was. <laughs> also, I didn't expect my my animal friends to tether the monster down, so that's fine. It's probably almost dead. <laughs> I need to get a better weapon. I hate how quickly this one breaks. I just haven't fought anything that gives me a horn. That's my problem. Nothing nothing makes an instrument. I'm fighting all these silly looking birds and none of them make make horns for me. You'll be back getting some ice cream cake. Nice. I'm not a huge fan of ice cream cake, personally. I don't like biting into ice cream. It hurts my teethers. <laughs> I got- I got sensitive tooths. <laughs> My buddy's the best. An ice cream cake kind of forces you to like- you have to bite into it. Cause like that's how you just interact with it, you know? So... So yeah, I don't really like ice cream cake. Also it makes your cake all wet and it's like... So, but I will readily acknowledge that I am the odd one out. Everyone else likes ice cream cake, and I'm the freak, and I know I'm the freak, so it's fine. <laughs> Ouch. There's a lot of flips I did to go directly over the monster there. <laughs> Come on, kill him. Murder him. I also like ice cream cake. That's because you're normal. And you like you like ice cream a lot. It's like your favorite dessert, I feel like. What's everyone's favorite kind of sweet food? Do you like fudge? Do you like cake? I think I like cake. I like soft, soft foods. Soft, sweet, tasty foods. That's what I want. I like ice cream plenty, don't get me wrong. But if I could, I'd have cake every damn day. <laughs> I guess I am an adult. I could, I could do that if I want. It's awfully expensive though, that's the thing. Cookies are by and large the cheapest option. Oh, you're going all the way across the map. Okay, well. Okay, I'll, I'll meet you over there, I suppose. <laughs> I should sharpen my horn while I'm at it. Cool, I love that you can sharpen your stuff while on the move. It just feels so good. <laughs> I'm a cake guy, nice. Milkshakes, they bring all the boys to the yard, so you must be very popular, Messiah. <laughs> They're fighting, they're fighting, and I'm missing out on, on the cool monster fight. Eh. <laughs> I'm back. It's really fucking good. Twins are just a weakling. I, I will accept this. I got my weak teeth. There's nothing I can do about it. This umbrella's humongous, right? This is definitely, like, a large version of this monster. <laughs> Probably why it, it still also hasn't hasn't killed over yet, because everyone knows that I'm perfect and I should be able to one shot everything. <laughs> well, hopefully it gives me lots and lots of parts. I'm, I'll admit there's a part of me that is regretting not making Vincent a gatherer, because you get more stuff that way. But it just didn't feel right. <laughs> He's just not a gatherer. <laughs> D 
Don't touch me. Has anyone tried a bacon shake? My friend did and they said it was good. I have not. That was a big thing though for a while though, just adding bacon. <laughs> bacon to everything. It was people talked about bacon like it was the funniest thing on planet Earth and the, the most delicious. It was so weird. It was a, a, a cringe, I'd say. <laughs> but it was the wild west of the internet humor. <laughs> we also all was just like, ha ah, ha mustache. Tee hee, tee hee hee hee. I must ask you a question. Hokey 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 ho. <laughs> and so, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so no, I haven't tried a bacon milkshake. I'm sure it wouldn't be the worst thing on planet Earth. But I don't think- I feel like it would just kind of be like two flavors next to each other. Not really coexisting, you know? <sighs> One of the greatest abilities of the Palamutes, being able to avoid monsters while sharpening your weapon. Exactly. Except I'm always too dumb to get on my Palamute, like, in the middle of combat. Um, and I'll just plant myself in a corner, and, uh, because I am bad at video games. We all know this. <laughs> oh, it interrupted my song. I'm fa focusing. <laughs> focusing on how much I'm good my ass beat, and that's what it is. <laughs> Okay, go now! There's a humongous, humongous damage right there. I'm a god, you see. You all need to bow before me. Obviously. No one has ever been stronger than this. What? Wow. 21 damage? 17 damage? 5 damage? Huh. Monsters tremble before me, and as should you. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. All right, the bit's over. <laughs> I got a lot of crap in my pockets that I don't want. <laughs> Twins, question. What's the story of Monster Hunter like? Why fight monster? Why not make friend with monster? Because they kill people. <laughs> they're they're beasts. They're they're not like sentient. They're they're monsters. <sighs> and so why do we have to fight you know, like like that's like asking early man, why do you have to fight the saber tooth tigers? Why can't you just befriend them? Because we're prey to them. <laughs> the story for this game is there are monsters. There's a lot more than usual right now because of a special thing going on. Oh, I killed it. Thank Jesus. Um, because there's a special thing going on. Uh, the twins are also kind of special. That's neat. And it's your job to make sure everyone is safe. Is this Roblox? It is not Roblox. I am sorry. <laughs> it's- but it's a far better game, so... You're welcome. <laughs> and howdy. <laughs> welcome on into chat. Everyone be nice to the to the new kid. <laughs> oh right, I killed the umbrella. Let's leave. <laughs> there it is. Complete quest. <laughs> Wahoo! Wah hey. We made friends with wolves. Wolves aren't 20 feet tall and designed to murder you. <laughs> Though, I will say, Excalibur, Monster Hunter Stories does see you befriend the monsters. It is a spin off. I'm sure it could be an option. We've just chosen a different, a different path in life. That's how it works. And if you want to ask, well, why don't we just make friends with them? Well, then don't play Monster Hunter. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's let's check in to see how our armor's doing. See see what we got going on. No, no. Oh, damn it! I've got the hiccups again. 
Hang on, hang on. Let me get water. Alright, that should be that should be alright. I should avoid the hiccups for now. Um, do I have No need to hurry. There's plenty of time. Which one looks cooler? The helmet is a little dumb. These are very cool. So let's get that. Oh I can get the helmet too. The helmet is a little bit dumb. We're gonna get it though. Cool. All right, and now, oh, I did not get the light crystal. All right, all right. Then, then that's what we'll do next time. Next time, we'll come in, we'll fight the rogi, we'll find a light crystal, and uh, and we'll look super cool. Oh, let me take a look at my weapons. I don't think there's any new ones that we got. No, I'll have to fight more things, I guess, if I want to do that, <laughs> which I will have to do sooner. Rather than later, because this this weapon is not holding up anymore. Let's check to see if we can make any cool cat or dog armor. Oh, such a little a little warrior, a little man. <laughs> Am I pick it up on Steam? Oh yeah, Monster Hunter genuinely is really fun. Ah, that's ludicrous. <laughs> Um, I definitely want to get him that sword and uh, we'll give you a little poncho. There you go. There you go, guy. <laughs> and what about Palamute stuff? Uh, definitely want to get him. We'll get you. Oh, I don't have enough scraps. I'll come back for that in just a second. Well, that's very cute. Look at that dog armor. But what's this one? All right, it's all right. And uh, it's all oh, a mighty warrior. Look at that. All right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, I need, oh, yeah, one of those. Great, and then uh, also I need two of these scraps. Okay, great. New armor for my little guys. Hell yeah, we look great. We actually look kind of like a, a mismatched mess. But we'll fix that. <laughs> we'll fix that next time on Dragon Ball Z. And Allison should actually be able to join us and help us next time. Because we won't be stupid. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, maybe we'll... Uh, if we do that, we'll do that next uh, Friday. So I'll see you. See you next time. Doug looks like a goat. A cool goat. <laughs> all right, all right. So yeah, I'll uh, uh, I'll see you all on the flip side. Oh uh, wait, can I pose? How do you pose in this game again? Hang on, hang on. There's definitely poses to do. Pose sets. Oh wait, is that what I want? Or... Yeah, let's try it. We are cute. <laughs> and what's this one? Oh man, we're so cool. That's what I look like when I play my horn canonically. Powerful. We are powerful. A group pose, but we're not in the right order. <laughs> oh, so strong. That's the fun one. Look at us dance. <laughs> anyway. Hot take? My hot take? I don't know. What do you want a hot take about? Give me, like, a, uh... Um... Uh... Category. What do you want a hot take about? Anime hot take? Okay, anime hot take. Here's my anime hot take. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Hang on, I'm thinking. Oh, okay, here's my hot take. Anime 
has a real thing right now going on, currently, where uh, there's a lot of hair with gradients. And I think that can be really cool. My hot take is, not every character should have a gradient in their hair. <laughs> also, bonus hot take is that uh, people will be like, Oh man, anime used to look so much cooler in the 90s. Okay, it uh, looks fine right now. It's just a different look to it. It'll have a new phase eventually. I listen. You liked it back in the few, back in the past because that's what you grew up with. And I, I I like the texture it used to have too. We live in a digital world. Sorry, nobody's making anime the old school way anymore because that's heinous <laughs> and hard to do. So those are my two anime hot takes. There you go. NPCs looking at twins pose randomly in the middle of the street, stopping traffic. <laughs> but I mean I'm. How can you stop me? I'm so strong. <laughs> Remember when YouTubers were crying about Fire Emblem looking anime now? And like, it was always anime. I know, right? It was, exactly. Even Excalibur knows. It was always anime. It just, uh, Fire Emblem is actually a really fascinating way to see how the style of anime has changed over the years. How they, how anime at large has gone through different kind of waves of inspiration and general aesthetic and yeah you know, how hair uh, outfits eyes face structures have they it's always changing and it's really fun so yeah there you go there's my flaming hot take um and speaking of flaming hot i am boiling alive and i want to uh change my pants because these jeans are warm so adios Goodbye. Have fun. I'll see you on the flip side. Drink your water. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>